What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former WBO junior middleweight world champion, Tim Zhu, uh, son of a legend, Costa Zhu. Tim Zhu suffered the first defeat of his career uh, at the hands of the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora, right? Tim Zhu is 29 years of age. He has um, 24 wins, one loss, no draw. 17 wins by way of knockout. Tim Zhu uh, is five foot nine with a 70 inch arm reach. Now he got a fight coming up. He fought Sebastian Fundora in March and he lost. He suffered a major gash over his head. Now he's going to fight um, Bakram Mataliev, uh for the IBF junior middleweight title, right? And he was scheduled to fight Virgil Ortiz uh, August 3rd, last Saturday. But he couldn't um, he couldn't push through with the fight because they, they didn't give him the clearance, okay, um, to, to fight. So now he's coming back and he's going to face Bakram Mataliev, okay? And Tim Zhu did an interview and uh, Tim Zhu is stating that, you know, um, he is looking for the biggest fights possible. And we saw Virgil Ortiz this past Saturday and Virgil Ortiz, he got a victory over Sir High Boachuk but I thought that Virgil Ortiz lost the fight. I just thought that he lost the fight. So now, I thought that Tim Zhu would have beaten Virgil Ortiz based off of what I saw with Serhi Boachuk. I think that Tim Zhu beats Virgil Ortiz. Nonetheless, he's going to face off against Bakram Mataliev, who is undefeated, 22 wins, no loss, no draw, 16 wins by way of knockout. He's 31 years of age, six foot tall. He knocked out Jack Colquet for the IBF junior middleweight title. All these belts became vacant due to Jamel Charlo, who was the undisputed junior middleweight champion. J Jamel Charlo vacated the belts. And when Jamel Charlo vacated the belts, um, everybody was left scrambling or Either you want to say everybody was scrambling or it gave everybody opportunity. Because now you had uh, Israel Majumov as the WBA champion. Uh, Sebastian Fandora was fighting for the vacant WBC belt. He ended up fighting for the unified WBC WBO title from Tim Zhu. And Bakram Mataliev won the IBF title. Now, Terrence Crawford just beat Israel Majumov and he petitioned for the WBO mandatory. And so now the WBO is stating that. Sebastian Fondora don't honor his mandatory in Errol Spence that he's going to be stripped and I mean with Terrence Crawford should he fight Errol Spence he's going to be stripped and uh, then Terrence Crawford will be elevated to the WBO champion as well right okay now Tim Zhu is getting another opportunity to fight for a world title but Tim Zhu more importantly says that He's been hearing that Jamel Charlo is going to retire. Now, Jamel Charlo last week or so, he uh, put up a post and he stated that he's still the king of junior middleweight and he'll be back soon. When is that? Who knows? Now, Tim Zhu said that he beats Bakram Mataliev, He's and Jamel Charlo does come back. He says that he'll give Jamel Charlo a title fight. He deserves it. But he's hearing Jamel Charlo's retiring and not coming back. He said, I don't believe he's coming back. And he stated that after Terrence Crawford's performance against Israel Majumov, where he won a unanimous decision, and in his first fight at 154, he says that Terrence Crawford is too small for the division, right? And he said that Terrence Crawford got a, a, a rude awakening and an unclear understanding of what it's like to fight a junior middleweight. That's what Tim Zhu is saying. So he's saying that Terrence Crawford is just, there's weight classes for a reason. 
Now, Terrence Crawford, keep in mind, petitioned to fight Tim Zhu as the mandatory. And Tim Zhu was awarded a voluntary defense, which he was going to do against Keith Thurman and then have to honor Terrence Crawford fight. So with that said, people have to keep in mind, this was Terrence Crawford's first fight at 154. So Tim Zhu said there's weight class for a reason. There's a reason why you go from eight ounce gloves at 147 and to 10 ounce gloves at 154, which is true. Terrence Crawford may not have the same power at 154 pounds that he did at 147 pounds. At 147 pounds, he knocked out and stopped everybody he faced. He was on 11 or 12 fight uh, knockout winning streak, right? Where he knocked him out in the 12th round. But with that said, you look at the fight with Israel Majumov and Terrence Crawford, and I think that people are drastically underestimating the performance that Terrence Crawford put on, and they're underestimating the power that he displayed because he hurt Israel Majumov a few times in that fight, and definitely in the 11th round. You look at the 11th round, those body punches and those uppercuts that he hit Israel Majumov with spoke volumes. And Terrence Crawford weighed 170 pounds. He rehydrated from 154 or uh, 143. Uh, I mean, 153.8 uh, or whatever he weighed in, 0.6 or whatever. He rehydrated to 170, and many people made a, a lot of that, saying that, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford rehydrated. Uh, he ballooned up. He actually was 170. Then Israel Majumov was actually 169.8. So Terrence Crawford was 0.2 pounds heavier than Israel Majumov the night of the fight. So he rehydrated two pounds heavier than Israel Majumov, 0.2 pounds. But when you actually look at the fight, you can clearly